Hey guys, today we're making Bronya's bear net from Star Rail. In the first part of this video, we'll be constructing the foam base, and these are the materials that I'll be using. So let's get into it. I'm starting by compiling and cutting out my pattern. As a note, this is where you want to plan out your supports, such as having a PVC rod extending through the whole gun build, but I'm doing something a little different to help answer a question I've gotten from a few people. I'm starting from the bottom of the gun, taking a section and cutting it into pieces, keeping a secondary view of the gun handy so I can have a general idea of how thick the pieces need to be. I'm securing the pattern to the foam using pins and tracing out the shape. This large piece in particular is approximately 40 millimeters in diameter, so I'm tracing it out four times onto 10 millimeter foam. I'm repeating the process with the next piece. This piece is about 25 millimeters in diameter. That's two 10 mm pieces and one 5 mm piece, and so on. I'm grabbing the boss cutter and cutting out all the pieces, then gluing them together using contact adhesive. I'm using the pattern to get an idea of the rough shape of the gun. On my patterns, the dotted lines mark where the design bevels, so I use this as a rough estimate and freehand my guidelines. I'm going in with my drevel and sanding the pieces into shape. If you do not have a Dremel, you can just continue cutting out the shape using your blade. This process has to be repeated on the gun grip. Trace the pieces, cut and glue the foam, mark the guidelines and sand it. Once everything is shaped, I'm starting to compile the pieces using contact adhesive. This is where I want to discuss what to do if the stability of your weapon is a bit wobbly because you do not have a pole reinforcing it. For these pieces, you want to use hot glue and not contact adhesive. Hot glue will increase the stability of your pieces. You just have to make sure you do not apply a lot of heat to the area when using a heat gun later on, or the build will start to fall apart. If the hot glue is not enough, you can also cut a piece of wire and use pliers to shove it right through your build. I use this method later on to secure the gun barrel in the video. Next, I'm using masking tape and wrapping it around this bottom area. Draw out the design onto a low density 2mm foam, cut it out and glue it straight on. For this project, you'll need a pole that is preferably 15mm in diameter, but I'm using a 20mm pole here. I went ahead and cut out all the pieces of foam I need for the build. On the inner pieces of foam, I marked a 20mm line so I know where to cut so the pole will fit in. Here you can see how the pole slips right in and the top layer keeps it hidden from view. I'm just sticking extra foam just to make sure everything is covered. You won't have to do this if you use a smaller pole. 
Moving on to the gun's blades. Due to the length and thickness, they will need extra support, so I'm adding a strip of wire in the middle and sticking it down with tape to secure it before gluing the pieces together. For the smaller blade, I'm not adding any wire, as it's already quite stable. I'm sanding everything into shape, then using a mouse sander to get rid of ridges that the Dremel caused. Once that is done, I'm compiling all the components onto the pole and heat sealing it. For the gun barrel, I want to use foam, so I'm cutting out a bunch of circles. On two of them, I'm dremeling a hole in the middle for the opening and sticking all the pieces together. using both the Dremel and mouse sander to give the foam a super smooth finish. I'm shoving a piece of wire through the barrel before gluing it onto the gun. Because it's round, I'm using acrylic filler early on. For the last part of the build process, I'm filling in any imperfections with acrylic filler and water to smooth it. I like to use a card to get into the corners. Now you have a prop that's ready to be painted. So now that our foam base is done, we can start our painting process. Screenshot these materials if you need them. I'm priming the gun with a spray primer and going in with an initial layer of whites on areas that need a white base. Next, I'm covering up any parts I want to protect with masking tape. I'm also using my top to protect the bottom as taping everything is quite tedious. I'm spraying the base a chocolate brown, covering the areas with masking tape and spray painting, and then repeating. For the blade, I don't have the right color spray paint, so I'm resorting to a blue acrylic and a paintbrush. Painting the design and smudging the edges with my finger. Cutting out a quick stencil before heading out and spraying the tips white. I do have some cleanup for this part as I was rushing on account of the weather. I'm hand painting the rest of the design, cleaning up any parts that I'm unhappy with and adding a few extra details.
I'm printing the 3D prints. Sanding them down, applying wood filler, setting them once again, then priming them to make sure they are super smooth. Spraying them with a layer of gold spray paint and using acrylic to paint on the design. I'm using brown oil paint in the corners to make them appear less flat. Here we are with and without the light. I'm sealing both the amulets and the gun before gluing the pieces together. The last part is a strap. So I'm quickly drawing the pieces onto a piece of pleather and making sure to prime it because paint does not stick well to plastic. <laughs> there you have it, Bonnie's bayonet. If you do end up making this weapon, feel free to tag me on my socials. I love seeing what you guys are doing and good luck! Yeah.